together, you know, and, uh, which is fun. Um, and as you all know, this was supposed to take place at the lovely home of many great kickoffs here in Pittsburgh at Heinz Field. We wanted this to happen so much in person, um, you know, and we know you did too, but, uh, you know, we, we heard your concerns and ours and, and decided to, to make a change, an audible, if you will. So we're, uh, we're, we're, we're pumped and, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, I know that the United Way team and, you know, we're confident that the, the, the Bridges Society and the, the whole next gen team will make this kickoff and campaign a success. Um, you know, so for me, just like a little bit of a background, you know, United Way has been like a super personal and incredible journey um, over the past uh, five or six years for me. Um, you know, I, uh, I think I got involved in United Way at the end of 2015, 2016. I was, uh, I had just gotten uh, whooped while running for Congress, um, you know, out north a little bit, wasn't really sure where I was headed. Um, you know, my wife and I were about to have our first daughter, which is the greatest thing in the world. Um, and I joined UPMC and I loved it, um, but I was still looking to, you know, be involved in the community that, that I had spent so much time with, that Tarina and I had been with, um, you know, while I had spent a great deal of time, you know, trying to, to, to run for Congress. And there's so many people on Butler in particular that, that you know, were so kind and, and wonderful to us. So I've never been on a board in my entire life. So one of the things I want to tell you out there is like, it, you, you can lead to a place, um, you're just a little bit vulnerable and just rock through it. You can get to a place where you make a difference if you want to. So I joined the United Way of Butler County um, board, which was separate at the time from the larger region, which now includes uh, five counties, which is great and moving into to others, which was just wonderful. Um, you know, but, you know, we quickly realized that we had a, had a challenge at the time in, in Butler and there was a big shakeup and, you know, I ended up uh, becoming the chair of the board, um, but we were really at a time where we almost weren't going to be able to provide services in the community. And, you know, it was, it would have been, yeah, we were just not going to let that happen. There was no way. And, you know, we had had a vision for where we wanted to, to take it as a board. Again, I had no idea what I was doing. Absolutely no clue. Just was trying to follow you know, my heart and work with people that, that could get this done. And thanks to, to Bobby Watt Gear, who's just the greatest person. I um, mean, so many others in the United Way family that welcomed us and Butler into the larger region. And that was kind of the journey for me personally. And, you know, we were able to get to a point where, you know, we were able to help the community, able to help those moms or seniors like my grandmother, um, you know, and others, you know, get the support that they needed. We were not going to let that, you know, go. And that was something to me that just became so hyper-personal. And now, and Sherry, I see you. Thank you so much for what you do in, in Butler and across the region and, um, and Lauren and the rest of the team. To me, it's, it's the time is now for us as young professionals, young families. Um, you know, Serena and I look at our five-year-old and six-month-old now, you know, and like see what could be in a lot of ways. And I see so much of that in United Way. So, you know, those of you out there that, you know, are trying to get involved, like this is the place to do it. You know, it's helped my life, you know, it's, you know, so much and given me, um, you know, so much more than I could have ever, I think, given to United Way. So, you know, you know, with that, just know you can make a difference. You know, I'm here anytime you can come talk to me. Trust me. I, again, no idea what I was doing, but the best decision I made was to join this wonderful group of people, you know, and, and work here. So, but I'm so passionate about what we can do for young, our, our younger generations and, you know, what we can do to make a difference in the Pittsburgh region. Um, you know, I think, you know, United Way and the team here is working on so many creative ways to, to engage and to stay engaged and change in this pandemic and really make that difference. And we'll be holding another event at the end of October, my wife and I, which will be fun. Thank you, Lauren, for organizing that. You know, more details to, to come there. Uh, but just thank you so much. Thank you for your faith and your trust and your time. And, you know, it's just a, a, great, uh, a great opportunity. So, you know, with that, though, I'd like to turn it over to an exceptional leader. Julie Patter, why don't you, you take it, our, our next gen chair. So thank you all for having me. Thanks so much, Dan. It's always hard to follow Dan because he's, he's so energetic and he's so fun to listen to, right? Um, so I don't know that there's much I could possibly say about the past 18 months that hasn't already been said. Um, COVID-19 has turned all of our worlds upside down and every individual and family has absolutely felt moments of crisis. I know that personally words like isolation and burnout and uncertainty resonate much more personally than they, they ever did before March of 2020. And it also seems like a, a lot of people are operating in their own silos these days. Um, and the pandemic has almost certainly in, in increased that trend. We're, we're living in our own bubble, virtual bubble, and we can really feel removed from the lives of our friends and our coworkers and the people that we love. So 
personally, that's one of the reasons that I am so passionate about being part of United Way's Next Gen. Um, it keeps me engaged and it brings together a group of diverse young professionals who contribute their own backgrounds and their own skills. But we all share a mission to make a real difference in our region and in the lives of others. Um, we also push and we challenge each other. Next Gen exposes each of us to issues that uh, frankly, might not be on our radar, and it's gratifying to see the real impact that we can make uh, today with our food drive and tomorrow because with United Way, we have a real seat at the table um, to create long-range initiatives for our region. Uh, your support of United Way, uh, both financially and with your time, make it possible for United Way to achieve three paramount initiatives. And the first is moving families and individuals towards financial stability, um, helping them to overcome institutional barriers to meaningful employment. And second, United Way builds success for children in school and in life um, because every child deserves the opportunity to reach their potential. And United Way is working to level the playing field for children and for students who fight an uphill battle before they even reach kindergarten. And thirdly, United Way is meeting basic needs for individuals and families and our most vulnerable neighbors. Um, companies all over our area have already started their United Way workplace campaigns. And we're going to watch a short video and take a look at why those campaigns are more important now than they've ever been before. family who has struggled to put food on the table now has confidence where their next meal is coming from, their situation changes. When a veteran no longer wonders where she and her daughter will be sleeping next week because she secured meaningful work, the future changes for her. When a young boy enters kindergarten on the first day excited and prepared to succeed in school, the world changes for him and truly for us all. The issues facing so many of our most vulnerable neighbors haven't changed much over the years. Food insecurity, fear of homelessness, barriers to educational and employment opportunities that often fall along lines of race, gender, and ability. But now, coming out of this year of crisis, United Way of Southwestern Pennsylvania has refocused our efforts on what we do best. Meet basic needs, move families and individuals toward financial stability, and build for success in school and life. United Way brings together our entire community, companies, nonprofit agencies, area leaders, volunteers, and donors like you to tackle the big issues today and whatever challenges tomorrow brings. Yes, our world continues to change. We need people like you to make sure it's a change for the better. Make your gift to United Way's Impact Fund and be the change maker your community needs today. I think one thing that's really important to remember right now is that returning to normal isn't the reality for thousands of families and individuals um, in our community. They continue to struggle to get financial footing. Students continue to be left further and further behind in school. And uh, too many people continue to need access to basic human needs. And those reasons are why instead of delaying our food packing initiative, um, given everything going on, we accelerated it. And you have all responded and we are so thankful for the work that you've put in so far. Thank you to everyone that has downloaded the list of essential items and gathered them and packed them and, and brought them to United Way. Um, if you haven't done that yet, there's still time to download the list and collect the food items. And those instructions will be dropped in the chat and you can check those out there. Um, to give us all some insight into what's going on right now in terms of food insecurity in our region, we've invited Cheyenne Taylor, Tyler, excuse me, from United Way to join us for our kickoff. Cheyenne, I'm gonna pass it off to you now. So 
Um, thanks so much, Julie. And uh, hello, everybody with NextGen. Um, thanks for having me this evening. Uh, and I must say, it is very impressive that you all were able to adjust to the times that we all live in and make this kickoff virtual. So congratulations on that. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about food insecurity, as Julie said, across our region. And unfortunately, when it comes to food insecurity, the need is very real and it's affecting thousands of people or thousands of of households across our region. I'm going to share a quick, um, give me a second, sorry about that. I need to share my screen. I want to share a presentation with you all. All right. All right, here we go. All right, so like I said, it's affecting thousands of households across our region, but even more so, it's affecting over 235,000 community members. They are facing food insecurity, and experts only expect that number to increase over the coming months, um, not only because of wintertime, but because of the, the benefits and the resources that are no longer going to be available to so many in our community. So in Allegheny County, the child food insecurity rate is 16.3%. So that is a lot of children that are facing insecurity and multiple children in same households. I'm going to talk a little bit about our response to the food insecurity crisis as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. So in March 2020, we received a generous donation from the Pittsburgh Foundation of a million dollars, and we were able to start the Student and Family Food Relief Fund. Um, and in partnership with Eat and Pork Hospitality, within the first week, we, do, we distributed over 33,000 meals. And as the pandemic persisted and the need continued to grow, uh, we were able to partner with over 60 community agencies throughout our region. This is schools, senior citizen sites, housing sites, uh, faith-based organization, community-based organizations, learning hubs, and many others to distribute meals to community members that were in need. And to date, we have served over 1.3 million meals throughout our region. Um, I, I mentioned Eaton Park Hospitality Group as one of the first vendors that we brought on. But again, as that need continued to grow, we recognized that we needed to get more food into the community. And we were able to bring on uh, eight additional food vendors. Some were which lived and worked in the community that were impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, there were also a handful, a handful few of those vendors that were minority owned and operated uh, organizations. So um, it has been just fantastic working um, with so many partners and so many individuals that really wanna make an impact such as yourselves to really get this done. So. Uh, I just wanted to share a few pictures with you all, a few different images. So you can see we did some distributions at bus stops. We did distributions at drive up sites. Uh, we, we just had so many people work and here in the corner, uh, you see the Steelers are represented. This was at uh, Pittsburgh Public Schools. We were able to distribute um, uh, holiday meals. So we, we've just been busy and we continue to do so definitely on a different scale than in March 2020, but we're continuing to get food um, and, and resources into the community members that need it. Um, again, just kind of touching on our con continued commitment. Uh, we will uh, look forward to providing some financial support to partnering organizations that specialize and have expertise in, in food insecurity and facing hunger in our communities. Um, and that is the Pittsburgh Community Food Bank, West Moreland Community Food Bank, 412 Food Rescue Farm to Table and others. We uh, have and will continue to identify by community-based organizations and food pantries that will receive donations, such as the, uh, the drive that you all just did to get, again, uh, food into the community members that, uh, into the hands that need it. Uh, we will continue to invest in community-based food delivery programs. What we recognize is that um, there are a lot of individuals that are still homebound. They were homebound before the pandemic and, and gonna be homebound after the pandemic, and if, if not even more. Um, so we wanna ensure that all community members are being uh, that are, are, are accessible and can get the healthy um, and quality food. Uh, and, and next, oops, 
sorry. <laughs> Next, um, we're just ready to respond. Like I said, we're, we anticipate um, in the coming months that there's going to be an increase in need. Uh, fingers crossed, schools will stay open, but if not, we're going to be ready to respond there uh, in, in way of food or and transportation to ensure that our kiddos are getting uh, meals uh, if school is not in session. Um, and we're just we're just ready to, to face the critical need of uh, food insecurity in our community. So um, thank you for being here. Thank you for the change and the impact that you will make. And um, that's it. Have a good evening. Julie, back to you. Thanks, Cheyenne. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. You certainly given us a lot to think about. And, and the things that Cheyenne outlined are the reasons that we chose to accelerate our food drive. And I just wanna say again, the response has been tremendous so far, and we are so thankful to everyone that has given you know, their time and their, their money and their, their efforts to our food drive. Um, United Way's Next Gen gives everyone a platform to make the impact at the level that you want to invest. And you can invest with your time, with your advocacy, and of course, your, your financial generosity. And this is your organization, and we certainly want to stay attuned to your, your ideas and your concerns. And so along those lines, there is going to be a survey in the chat, um, and we'll send it out again after the event. And the intent of the survey is to better understand what young professionals are interested in and how they would like to get involved in United Way. Um, and, and thanks to generous sponsors, uh, those who fill out the survey will be entered to um, a raffle to win a $100 Amazon gift card. So that's exciting. Um, and we'll be also be conducting future surveys. So we ask that you please keep the ideas coming um, and, and keep us in your thoughts. So thank you. Hey everybody, this is Kenny Bonas here. Uh, this past year, United Way of Southwestern PA has played a mission critical role in responding to the unprecedented needs of our community. Because United Way already has earned the trust of donors, corporations, and a network of agency partners, it was uniquely able to help people when they literally had nowhere else to turn. With everything from food to helping children transition to remote learning to connecting seniors with their first vaccination in the early few months of the vaccine rollout. Thousands of families couldn't have made it without the United Way. And United Way couldn't do it without you. Workplace campaigns are the number one source of financial support for United Way and provide the majority of resources to meet basic needs, move families to financial stability, and to help build success in school and life. If you haven't already, please renew your gift to United Way through your workplace or as an individual donor, because the year ahead is going to continue to be a challenging one for our community. And if you would like to make an even larger contribution to the United Way this campaign season, consider stepping up and making a thousand dollar donation and joining United Way's Bridges Society. Bridges Society is an affinity group for donors 45 and under who donate 1,000 or more annually to the United Way's work. Benefits of becoming a member include exclusive local networking events with community-minded professionals, valuable professional and personal development, opportunities to serve in leadership roles for United Way initiatives, participation in high impact volunteer events, meet and interact with CEOs in situations where you can demonstrate your leadership skills and work side by side with influential community and civic leaders. If you would like to get the leadership to the leadership level and become part of Bridges Society, step up information can be found in the chat. It's also important for you to talk up your commitment to your coworkers and peers. Let them know why United Way is important for you and what your passion is and what you personally get out of being involved. We are this close to being able to return to in-person professional events and rewarding volunteer opportunities. You will wanna be there when we do. And for upcoming events on Thursday, October 14th, we will be hosting a poverty spiral simulation and happy hour at Camp Gayasuda in Sharpsburg for our Next Gen and Bridges Society members. This event will offer an opportunity for a unique experience 
to not only get a networking opportunity with other young professionals, but also to gain a deeper understanding on how families and individuals in our community experience poverty. Attendance is limited to 48, so make sure that you sign up early. Details are to follow. And then as Dan mentioned earlier in the evening, on October, or, yeah, October 28th, Thursday, we'll be having a virtual happy hour with Dan LaValle. For those of you who have gotten a chance to attend our Good Point series, this event will be a similar structure where Dan will be sharing his personal and professional journey while giving some unique insights with a fun twist that is all coming soon. Stay on the lookout for that email invitation to come through. On behalf of the rest of your next gen leadership, I wanna thank you for being here and engaged in our 2021 kickoff. And again, it's time to renew your membership through your workplace campaign. Good night, everyone.